welcome back. Happy Friday. How was your week? We had a great week here. I've just been a busy little bee and we've just been enjoying the kind of cooler summer. I don't know about you, but I feel like not only is summer like slipping away, um, how, um, for us where we live, it's been a lot cooler, more overcast and rainy than it was last year, which isn't super awesome. It makes me a little sad. I haven't been able to enjoy my outdoor sunbathing as much as I like to do. I know it's bad, I know, but I, it's only for a small amount of time with a big hat, sunglasses, and lots of sunscreen. Trust me, I do it right. I'm a little vitamin D is good for you. Um, and I know some of you, you're thinking, girl, it has been hotter than Hades this summer. And I did watch the news this morning. I don't often watch the news because my children don't often let me watch the news, but I did watch this morning and like the southern United States is getting some serious heat. And I know some of you are involved in that and others not so much, but the summer's almost gone and it kind of makes me sad. Like, I feel like I've barely been able to enjoy it so far. I've just been in a whirlwind of busyness and ugh. But anyways, um, this week, so I get really excited about my Friday loves. I just can't wait to sit down and share with you guys and just kind of chit chat about the makeup that I've been using and loving. Like, throughout the course of the week, I'm, you know, doing different makeup looks and playing with my makeup and whatever. And when you find something really good, it's so exciting. And I usually set it off to the side here and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, but this week was great. It was a great uh, makeup week. I have some newer things that I'm going to be sharing with you today. And then um, featuring in a Get Ready With Me that'll be up on Tuesday. And I'll get to that in a second. So I always get so ahead of myself. I just have so much I want to share with you. So, um... Welcome if you are new. This is my Friday Loves where I sit down and just kind of chit chat with things that I've really been loving and enjoying this week, not just makeup. So without further ado, let's roll in. Okay, so let's start off with my first and always favorite, which you know what it's going to be, uh, my wine favorite. I always have a, a weekly wine favorite. I do drink quite a bit of wine. I like I'm not an alcoholic or anything, but I do like to enjoy my glass of wine um, with dinner. I do like to cook with it. I just love wine. I also love coffee. Like I love coffee and wine almost like they're neck and neck. I go to bed dreaming and literally my mouth waters for my first cup of coffee. And then by the time it's late afternoon and I start thinking about dinner, my mouth starts watering for my glass of wine. It's a problem, but it's it's an okay problem to have. And so this week I purchased uh, my first Shiraz that I've had in a while. And this one is really good. This is the Cupcake Vineyards Shiraz. I do like the cupcake wines. I've tried quite a few different ones. I think by this point I've probably tried them all. Um, but the reason I got this one is because it has, um, let's see, it's a full palette of creamy fruit, mocha, and a touch of black pepper. Now that usually scares me a little bit because I don't like a wine that has too much of a bite, but it doesn't. It's just enough that it really balances out the, the flavors in this wine. It's really yummy. It says it's reminiscent of a chocolate mocha and blackberry cupcake. It is. It's very, very delicious. So um, if you like a Shiraz, this is a one from the Cupcake Vineyards. I would definitely recommend checking this one out. And I did have another bottle of wine this week, but um, it was one I've shown before, so I just didn't want to mess with it. So, you know. Anyways, okay, so let's get into the makeup and nails and stuff like that. So this week on my nails, I am wearing um, Susie's Hungry again by OPI. Now, <laughs> so last night I went into a nail polish coma because I've been watching a ton of videos over the past like week on like people's different nail polish favorites and formulas and this that and the other thing so in a, in my um next haul i'm going to save them for my next haul i'm going to show you all the nail polishes that i've been purchasing um maybe i'll have nail swatches by that time too because i'll have worn them all but i've just been on a nail polish kick and i really was not on a nail polish kick at all like for the past year um not the past year but all of last year i should say and then for this past year, I have really learned how to paint my nails, and it's gotten me more excited about it because I really, I, would, I did not know what I was doing. So this color is really pretty. This is like a pinky coral color. It's just a great summer color. It, the formula was really nice on this. I did two coats, and then I painted my accent nail with glitter, which coincidentally looks gorgeous, but is so annoying. I literally get the chills every time these textured nails scrape across a towel or anything, clothing, anything. It just, it reminds me of nails on a chalkboard. So I'm not a huge fan of texture polishes or glitter top coats for that reason. I think this is my only glitter top coat because 
I'm keeping it for my daughter. She likes to put it on her nails and stuff, but I just can't quite frankly deal with the texture thing. It just, it kind of creeps me out. Um, so that's my nail polish favorite this week. All right, so this foundation is fabulous. My friend Kayla got me turned on to this foundation and I'm going to be using this in Tuesdays. Get chit chat, get ready with me. So you're gonna get like a, an extra chit chat day type of video on Tuesday. Um, I would like to start doing more of um, chit chat, get ready with me's after, well, just in general, first of all. And then second of all, after I do a haul so that I can use those products that I just hauled and not just like show you, hey, I bought this, but yeah, that's awesome, but maybe you didn't like it, or maybe it's, you know what I mean? So, um, anyways, Chelsea, get to the point. Um, this is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I'm in the shade Light Beige. I'm wearing this today. Um, I will get use this and get ready with me on Tuesday so you can see how it applies and everything. But this is fabulous. Medium to full coverage. I do get kind of shiny in my T-zone. I've been getting shiny in my T-zone with everything, though. Everything. Um, I think it's just the time of year, or it's my hormones, or something, but... I'm not usually this, like, oily. I think it's horrible. <laughs> it has to be. It's almost that time of the month, and things just get a little a little crazy. Um, but it's beautiful. Medium to full coverage, very natural finish. It does not look cakey. Like, this is one of those full coverage foundations that I can go out in the middle of the day and not be worried that I have cake face. Um, that My Estee Lauder Double Wear, it looks fabulous on camera. I mean, I watch myself back, and I'm like, oh, I look really good. But if you go out in the sunlight, mmm... It's a little thick, it's a little cakey, it's really hard to pull off in the in the middle of the day without looking bad. This you can get away with, you know, going out with your girls, having lunch, and not fearing that you look like you spent a very long time applying foundation. So, this is beautiful. I really like it. They, they do have a nice shade range as well, and the packaging is even really pretty. So, and I've heard good things about this. I've actually heard nothing but good things about this foundation from a lot of other people. So, I say try it. Try it. Um, okay, I got some good stuff this week. So let's show you the new thing that I purchased. If you if you follow me on Snapchat, you already know that I bought this. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, I will have my information below, and you should. It's fun. Um, anyways, I picked up the Anastasia, what is this? The Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. Doesn't this just look like the 1970s, like the colors, like the pattern? I realize it's probably supposed to be very, like like world travel like flag or or something or like airplane I don't know I don't know I'm just making this up but anyways this is beautiful I've been really loving at first when I first saw this palette on Instagram the the colors that made me want to buy this are these four right here and this pink champagne color is absolutely stunning I'm wearing it on my lid today the pink champagne color but oh my gosh I love this this is it's a beautiful palette and I wasn't quite sure about this metallic color and this intense gaze, but I am wearing the intense gaze today. I've worn every color in here except for Azure and Heirloom, but I did put those on my friend Amy. Um, but pretty much really love this palette. I think for $30 it is definitely worth it. Now I realize I think there might be a couple um, duplicates from previous palettes. For me, I didn't care about that because number one, they're colors that I love and wear, and number two, I didn't buy any of the previous palettes. so. Not a big deal to me. Um, and even if they are duplicates from other palettes you may own, if they're shades you use a lot, like these matte crease shades or outer V shades, like it's not a big deal. You're probably going to hit pan on it anyways if you love them as much as me. But I've been really enjoying this. So this is another thing I'll be using in that Get Ready With Me so that you can see um, another look that I created. But um, I've been really liking this. This is limited edition. So if you do want it, you kind of have to jump on the board uh, right now <laughs> or soon. I like, I don't know about you, but when you hear the words limited edition, I feel like they should, dependent on the product, say like five minutes or, you know, like 30 days or 60 days. Like, what is, what time period are we talking here? Do I need to rush out my car right now? Do I need to get on the internet and order it right now? Or do I have time to save up for it? Like, that just makes me crazy. Like, prior to getting into this whole makeup world, I didn't, I didn't care about limited edition. It wasn't like a big deal to me. Like, I didn't really understand what it was. But when you're talking about a product you really like and you're not sure if you can afford it right now or how long it's going to be out, it's just crazy. I know it's how they keep you coming and going, but seriously, can you at least give us a time frame? Um, so anyways, enough rant about that. Been loving, loving that palette. They blend well. I guess I didn't even talk about the shadows. I just get so worked up about stuff. Sorry I'm playing with my hair. I'm sweating. I'm debating putting my hair up. Um, the 
Shadows blend really well. They're very, very creamy. I just, I love it. I'm feeling off my game today. I don't know what it is. Like, I think it's because, like, I have a lot of things going on this week, and this is, like, the one last thing that I have to do before I can continue on with other things. So I'm, like, excited that I'm almost done. But at the same time, I, I can't quite think. Like, I don't know. Okay, so this blush. I love this blush. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love... And as I've kind of played around with makeup more and more, I'm finding I really like those deep, rosy, like peachy, deep colors on me. And in general, I just think they're such a rich, dimensional color to wear on the skin because it looks like blush, but it looks like bronzer, but it looks like contour. And some of them, like they could have even like a little bit of shimmer in it so it looks like highlighter. I just love those kinds of blushes. So the blush I'm talking about is the one from Charlotte Tilbury, her cheek to chic swish and pop blusher that is a huge long name and the shade that this one is called is called the climax perhaps that's why i like it so much i'm not quite sure but um it looks really just blah in the pan does it not but here it is on it is so pretty it it's rich it defines it sculpts it's just it's stunning and you can kind of you know Keep your brush in the darker portion if you want, or you can kind of put it more in the, the peachy peachy center. But isn't that just beautiful? It's just a rich, rich blush. <laughs> I really like it. I like the formula on these blushes. I find that they stay on all day. I wouldn't put a 12-hour claim on them, but they definitely look brilliant for, you know, the, the good part of the day where you want to look good. So really I only have one other shade from her and it's like a peachy one but this one I really like because this is a blush that I feel you can wear year-round it's not too it's not like a super pink or super peach it's just kind of like a great great neutral shade to have in your collection so the climax by Charlotte Tilbury okay, I forgot to talk about this eye product this is the Stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in the shade damsel I do not know how to sharpen this. Is there a way to sharpen this? Because if there's not, this is not a winner in my book. I love the color of it. it. It wears nicely. I love the rich chocolatey brown color of it. But once you use it, it's flat. Well, how are you supposed to draw a nice even line, which I struggle with as it is. Like, my eyeliner is never perfect because it's really hard sometimes to, you know, draw a really straight line. And then you add in a flat eyeliner, like, I don't know. So. I am showing you guys this because I'm asking you and I'm just forewarning you if you are looking at these um, I'm not sure how you sharpen this or if you even can if you're just supposed to use it all I'm not sure um, this is the color damsel like I said it's a rich deep chocolate color I love the color of it and look at that once you um, twist it up too, guess what it ain't going down so there's two reasons perhaps to <laughs> stay away from the Stila smudge sticks or maybe you love them I don't know I'm not in love, but I love the color, but I'm not sure. I don't love how it's made and the operation of it is just kind of, it's kind of poopy. Oh my goodness, I have some good lip stuff this week. So the first thing is I'm absolutely smitten with this product. In fact, I have a one and now I want more. And I've heard people talk about them before and I know they've said they are great, but these truly are great. This is the YSL Glossy Stain in number 13. So I put this on at probably 7.30 in the morning. Went to church, went to my friend's house, ate, drank, everything. Still had it on, still was opaque, still was glossy and fabulous. Like, this is legit. This is so worth the money. Like, sometimes you pay a lot of money for a product and it's it depending on the formula. It doesn't really stick around. It's This does. This is worth every penny in my book because if you only got to apply it once a day, like, that's totally worth it than like a cheaper product you're applying like every five minutes. So anyways, I got number 13 in this. It's a beautiful, like a pinky raz, reddish raspberry color. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going, and you can build up the color. So one swipe is kind of sheer, um, but you can build up the color. The packaging on this is fabulous, but I will literally have this stained on my hand all day. I mean, I'll, wa I'll wipe this off and there will be a nice little stain. So. I love a product like this. This is just perfect. It's it's lipstick, but it's gloss, but it's a stain, and it legit stays on. You don't have to worry about it. I love this color because it goes from day to night because it's just a rich raspberry color. It's like a classic color. It goes with lots of things. Like I just love this. So I recommend going to Sephora, checking out the glossy stains. They have 
a million different shades <laughs> like a ton it was quite overwhelming to pick just one but I knew I had wanted to try this this spring at the VIB sale I picked this up and I love it I love it a lot so number 13 is a winner but you know they have lots of other beautiful shades but they're just spectacular Another fun, easy to wear type of shade that's really pretty in the summer, I love the Revlon Lip Butter Formula. I love it. It's just as comfortable. It's hydrating. It's moisturizing. It has like a little bit of a glossy finish. Um, this one, out of the bunch, is more opaque. Um, and because of its richness color in color, this is Wild Watermelon. I wore this with just a simple wash of color on my eyes and some mascara and a little bit of blush. And it was just so soft and pretty. But yet it gave your lips some color without it being too much. This one is, like I said, more opaque and you can definitely build it up. Look how pretty that is. It's just so pretty. It's just a brightening reddish color. It's not too red. I mean, it's red, but it's not super red. It's not opaque. Um, I just really like these, this type of formula in the summer because it's easy to reapply. You don't have to wear a lip liner if you don't want to can just kind of throw it on now if you leave this, leave this in your purse and your purse is sitting in your, in your car or something um, then it might melt but I do really like it and then this is my last favorite and this is my super favorite <laughs> I always save my really really favorite lip um, thing for the last so um, the lip product that I'm speaking of is this this is fabulous this is NARS satin lip pencil in the shade Lodhi I'm wearing it today formula on this is so nice it's very creamy it just glides on like butter like it feels like butter when you're putting it on just a bright pretty corally shade oh and it's so creamy it's so creamy I love a pencil because yeah it's like almost like a liner in one you know you can draw it on you sharpen it it just oh it's such a beautiful color this is like summer like coral to me like if I had to deem one color for summer I would I immediately think coral or like bright turquoise <laughs> like those are my summer colors so I really like the NARS set and lip pencils I have one other shade and I've been very pleased with them not incredibly long wearing like I put it on and then I ate lunch and the middle was gone which is kind of to be expected the outside was still kind of there um, it, but you would have to reapply it for sure but it is a really pretty shade and the com it's very comfortable on your lips so I think the last thing that I have to share with you is this week I did post my diet and fitness routine video so if you missed that you might want to check it out just to kind of give get some encouragement or just get from me like I'm going to share with you what I do what I eat what I do for my workout what I do to stay kind of fit and healthy and stuff and I do get some questions about that I know I've had requests in the past about doing a video for that and so I did one so if you are interested I will link that below so that you can watch that and just if anything, feel inspired and motivated to at least get out and take your dog for a walk or your children to the playground. Just move and you'll feel so much better. So that is all that I have to share with you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed and I always enjoy just sit down and sharing things that I think are good products with you and, and recommendations that I would share with you. So tomorrow is Chit Chatter Day, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday and a great weekend and I'll chit chat with you tomorrow. Bye guys.